Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. This time we're looking at Dream Master issue 1. This is a 2022 series from Black Box Comics written by Jonathan Hendrick, art by Luigi Baracelli, colors by Ruben Curto, lettered by DC Hopkins, published, created, and edited by Demetrios Zaharakis. I have cover A by Luigi Baracelli and colors by Ruben Curto. I do like the cover. It's interesting. Got me to buy the book. So it opens in this surreal nightmare land it reminds me a lot of the ecto kid series when he was in the other undead world and this woman is running from a werewolf and that's how we meet dream master he's got this repeating crossbow that could shoot bolts and he saves her from this nightmare creature and explains to her some of the rules of the dreamland apparently you can only escape by being terrified to the point of waking up and there's monsters there that can kill you so his job is to help her escape and i really like the effects of the monsters i think they look really good and there's a sort of nebula look on his mask so it's got this space cosmic look to it it really works for the imagery and the artist did a really good job with that so did the colorist but the monsters look really cool there's this werewolf one and then this flying creature and there's this talk of a queen and we get a brief glimpse of her at the end of the book she's obviously going to be the antagonist of the series but overall i thought it was a lot of fun the character looks interesting the scenario is pretty good. It's sort of a combination of Ecto Kid and Night Mask. And overall, the art is really solid. There's very few panels that I was really complain about. The dialogue needs a little bit of refinement. It's a little bit amateurish at times, but not bad. I enjoyed the book. I thought it was an interesting looking character, interesting concept. And the dream world thing has been kind of done before, even with like Lovecraft and Unknown Cadath. But I like those kind of surreal books. So I'm going to recommend this. I thought it was surprisingly fun and had a lot of action in it so if you're looking for something new and different check this out is it worth five bucks probably not but i'm sure you can find it cheaper and it'll probably be out in trade paperback eventually but i had no issue with the money i spent i had more entertainment value out of this than most of dc books for sure so if you get a chance to check it out absolutely do so i thought it was pretty fun that's gonna do it for this one thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways links from the description to various support methods and as always we hope to see you on the next one